Attention gamers. When it comes to ranked solo queue, if you didn't know me you'd think I have a foot fetish because I'm constantly staring at defeat. And because I'm seemingly stable to silver, sometimes I head to challenger players streams and ask them what's the secret and I hear everything from Yeah, turn on your monitor bro. Turn it on, it's not that hard. To suggestions of who to play. Play Yone. Yone is the most brain dead f***ing piece of sh champion Riot has ever created. But when it comes to climbing in solo queue, one man has a more decorated resume than most so I wanted to know his secret and this is what he said. Four things you gotta do. Four crafters. Then his ADHD brain forgot what he was saying like his overstimulated swollen skull couldn't hold a coherent thought that wasn't some insult to an EU pig if it meant focusing for more than 10 seconds at a time be he eventually continued. What is saying? Oh, ward raptors, play for dragons, not die. Oh yeah, don't play. Well, there you have it, follow these four tips and you'll climb and today I'm gonna show just- Raph, he played 900 games in the last month. I wouldn't even play half that unless I was getting paid to play. Well it's your lucky day you little soulless ginger because anyone can get paid to play league just by using buff. Buff is an ATM for virgins or what the marketing team calls a rewards program for gamers. The way it works is you download their free app then play your games the same way you were doing before but now you are earning buff points. Buff points unlike your soy boy cousin's NFT collection can actually be used to buy real things. And speaking of crypto if you're worried this app is up to no good let me assure you it's authorized by Overwolf who owns pretty much every other league app that you and your favorite creators are using and if that's not enough just check your CPU and GPU usage while running it and you'll know if it's trying to mine anything, it's utterly failing. Anyways once you've accumulated points through playing your games and participating in challenges you head to the marketplace and exchange those sweet buff points for all sorts of in-game and real-life goodies like RP gift cards that you can use to give Riot Games even more of your hard-earned money for making a game that makes you angry until you quit and in that case buff works on other games too so use my link in the description to get a bunch of bonus buff points and start earning for playing today. Alright so the plan was to take my hard stuck ass into solo queue follow the four commandments of climb and LP would just start throwing itself at me like women do when I tell them I'm Sagittarius and the first step is to ward raptors and I can already feel my rank getting ready to change. Laning phase is more boring than your average boobless bunny foo foo video so no action other than me making sure that the raptor part of the map stays more lit up than a Christmas tree. Then dragon is up and I remember the war chief saying Play for dragons but he didn't say what to do when your support starts migrating top and your arrow sling simp monger wants to go back to base so long story short we just give that shit like we're attending a baby shower and don't have a gift idea but leave it to a windshitter to be more oblivious to his surroundings than a dead deer on a highway so lantern larry comes in trying to hide the fact that he hasn't been where he should have been for the last three minutes but this attracts that knee nibbling neil armstrong chick so i tell her to go ahead and sneeze cause my presence is about to bless her and we turn the gang then I head bot to bathe in the southern sun you know get rid of these pink leotard tan lines and to also inform bot laners that I am 3 levels older than them and that I don't even need my cues so I throw them on the ground before star popping that electric pussy back to base. But mama likes the level diff so I'm back in the line for the dead bitch buffet not a minute later asking Mr. Lava Lasso to hold down that rabbit so I can make her feel like a true ADC. Our ash is more useless than a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest but at least this grape-stained Tesla turd is capital F fucked as a result. We tie him up I throw a bunch of glowing shit at him while seemingly holding my cue for next game but it's because I know that the pig-tailed Pluto advocate is gonna come and being a pocket-sized pain in my ass and I wanted to cut her escape off so that all she could do was uninvite Thresh from the party to get some privacy for her failures. That said, while I was bought, my bot was mid which meant this windshitter's been eating well as Ash remembers she had to wake up enemy gromp and I throw my cue into Timbuk2 as my teammates line up like they are in a fucking mariachi band so that Yas can get two for the price of one tornado and if you are counting on me to clean that one up you're mistaken. You see the climb commandments say not to die and to also fight for dragon and I fully intend on doing that. The problem here was that I had less health than a 90 year old with COPD who just can't break up with Marlboro so I'm kind of just pretending I was there like a dad at his daughter's dance recital but really all I could do was snip that white haired hopper and watch ESPN highlights on my phone from the bathroom until I was told to back and just accept our team's failures as being okay. My team's making me deal with more deaths than a funeral home while admitting they should have hung out with me more as kids but at least they realize that it's never too late so when I go bot to deal with weaponless Willy and he pops a boner when he sees me, 
it's lights out all hands on deck nighty night time for the man because I have a set of rules I need to follow. Hot die. Speaking of which someone should tell the rodent they are calling their ADC and I will inform their Zarath so that we could focus on chasing down Amy the astronaut and hopefully putting her on another planet. Then this yasshole comes in doing typical Yasuo things properly blocking an ash alt while simultaneously diving into danger because his breed can't say no to ratchet pussy or lit up alt buttons so he dies then the little galaxy girl gets in line to do the same right after which leaves me legendary. I schedule a team building activity to vandalize a statue which attracts some property owners to threaten a lawsuit or some shit but I'm more distracted thinking you could give this trist 40 fucking rules to follow and she still wouldn't climb all while I'm in the back pretending I'm a stage dancer for the BGs as they perform their hit stayin' alive. Then we are finally in the right place at the right time so that we can follow King T's second commandment which is to fight for drags which we do but then Nocturne is like I'm silver so I also would like to fight after drags which looks bleak but they stack up like pancakes and I titty laser the piss out of them to turn it around. It's later in the game and I see that there's already a ward on raptors so I plop a busy boy in the rift pubes instead which turns out to be the unsung hero of this Zarath slaughter but then more red bars arrive and I'm not about to just let anyone tap my ass so I peace out. I want to fight for another dragon but the sad reality is that my front line is about as hard as a flaccid pig dick and I'm now being personally uninvited from family events like I'm Meghan Markle and my father-in-law is getting crowned so the rule to follow dragons was a big sack of soggy shit and all I could really say was that I didn't die. That is until weaponless Willy had about enough of lights being shined in his face and decided to put my ability to remember if I have a Zanyas in my bag to the test and luckily for him, that's the safest bet in the world so one fuck up and Riot removed 23 LP from my bank account. To which I think I need to put more priority on one of the commandments. Play for dragon. So I locked in bot lane for game 2. But I didn't know how I was gonna follow the first commandment as a bot laner so after a bit of invade nonsense I took a pre-game trip up north to make sure the record shows I plop a cam down by his raptors. Then I played safe against puke stained vein knowing that eventually the tiny armless knight mummy would be down to lick the bitch and all I would have to do is right click in true ADC fashion before chaperoning the second slaughter from afar right after. I'm low but I feel the need to rotate for dragon to avoid this game turning out like the last utter shitfest so we secure the drag but I die in the process. But since this is my own hometown elo of hard stucks where we all put our shoes on before our socks the last dragon is now being contested 90 seconds after it died. So I j chill on the sidelines until this zombie reveals that he ate his own brain and then I run around screaming bloody murder at the sight of bandaid boy getting bludgeoned to death. This prompts the saddest chase ever while I hold my ult having no confidence I would aim it correctly as karma comes up to tell us she's dead and then I say it's K baby I make worth by right clicking this sewage marinated vein right after. And for those of you wondering if I was saving my ult for the next lunar eclipse I was just saving for the next time I wanted to assert my lane dominance and let bobby bath salts over here go back to base. I know a new dragon's due date is coming up fast so I need to find their jungler and stick my pistols up his asshole and while warding raptors would be optimal by the books, I use my turbo virgin gamer intuition to gamble that he'll be pathing towards the local breeder to see if he can cop himself a new doggy and call me a fortune teller with big tits because I was dead right as we make sure to capitalize on my fat win. This lines us up to slap he who flaps all to ourselves until Brand comes in to demonstrate that once you are a zombie you no longer fear death and actually look forward to it as he just straight line walks into all of us. Then backbot because word on the street is that their Vanye didn't bring an umbrella and also doesn't do well when waves of fire are being shot at her face so I secure another kill. And call me my team's personal river lifeguard because it's practically my job to make sure none of them die in the water and I'm doing a damn good job of it as we first take down the battle cast yeti rider and then we get in hot pursuit of American Sam as I make sure I have full vision of his pissy plant escape plans, and then I rendezvous round 2 to properly shit in his mouth right after. Anyways me and my karma have come up with an arrangement where I tell her to go act absolutely clueless and lost in river and right when those piss guppies think they finally have a kill I will come in with the flaming coke and mentos routine to make sure they are left feeling jebated. Then all we have to do is make he who does not die, die. And the trick here is to treat the man like he is ligma and to stay away until he's done moaning and then come in to put him down. Turns out we have an avid boss FF viewer on the team, fuck me am I right? 
But we catch Lord Spin to win jerking off a frog and we know that his undying orgasm is on cooldown so we have to act quick which works like an Ari charm but the thing is they must be listening to the climb commandments too because Trindy or not here they come to contest drag so I just stay back until Lux ties up the metal moron and then I take a quick tap dance on my right click button while the rubber necks are waiting for me to remember that I have an ult but don't you worry you little piggies I was just saving it for the big finale. And when I play this little mf'er I want to make sure that every time I hit my R key I will be hearing this sound. Then I kill Brand for the 16 zillionth time and remember that I have rules to be following so I throw a ward in the chicken coo to make sure this is being done properly. Then we are back at it sitting in dragon pit making sure we don't cuck up the dragon commandment when Lord Farquaad's older brother comes in looking at me with a half chub and I'm like bro look at this hot blonde instead but turns out she's kinky for that bind and tie up business you know BDSM binds damage stuns and Monte Carlo as we get the drag then the whining little midget mummy and I ult to part the red health bar seas before we peel off. This lets us do a deep dive onto their stone patio as Brand continues letting us blast him like he's the back door on a drunk whore on a Friday night which has me thinking everyone else on their team is gonna keep giving me free ass kills until I find myself in a bit of a predicament under tower thinking this is where it's all gonna fall apart but by the damn grace of god this karma is the ultimate chat as she declares this a sup diff and if I wasn't too focused on following the commandment that said. Oh yeah, don't fight. I would have told her how rock hard I was from the amount of peels she's been providing but instead all I could do was finish off this fat 20 bomb safely to secure my victory and so in summary my opinion on the 4 simple rules to climb I just want to say, my games will always feel like a goddamn coin flip and I will never change. Ravi boy outie.